Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya. Today I want to post this question. Is a business person an entrepreneur? Now to answer me, to help me answer that question, I am posing another one from the mathematics point of view. Is a square a rectangle? Now to answer this question, we need some definitions yes a square is a plain figure with four equal straight lines and four right angles four equal straight lines and four right angles a rectangle is a plain figure with four straight sides and four right angles yes both of them have right angles both of them have four sides which are straight but the square the sides are all equal that is the specificity of the definition of the square now if therefore we extend this square with four equal sides and four right angles if we pull it and extend it it still has four sides it still has right angles but it is no longer a square because the sides are not equal yes so we could say all squares are rectangles but not all rectangles are squares a square is a special breed of a rectangle. A square is a rectangle with four equal sides. But there are other rectangles that do not have the sides equal. Four sides, not equal, four right angles. So, is a square a rectangle? Yes, it is. It is a special rectangle. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. A square is a special breed of a rectangle. And now we come to another question before I answer an entrepreneur and a business person. Is entrepreneurship studies business studies? Yes, entrepreneurship is related or associated with Joseph Schumacher, who is a poet. Schumpeter, who is supposed to be or who is thought to be the father of entrepreneurship, probably through his statement of creative destruction, but we're not going into that. And business is associated with Peter Trager, who told the father of business studies, is known to have said business has two basic functions marketing and innovation. So, business studies teach how to work in or form an existing business. Entrepreneurship studies teach how to start and manage an own business. Listen to that again. Business studies prepares students to go and work in existing businesses, in existing organizations. Entrepreneurship studies prepares students to start and manage their own businesses. So we can also say all entrepreneurship is business, but not all business is entrepreneurship. Now let's go on and now look at the entrepreneur and the business person. So is an entrepreneur business person? There you are. Profit, business. So Let's go again by definitions. An entrepreneur, he or she generates profit from an innovatively identified business which she or he manages innovatively. How about a business person? Generates profit from a duplicated business which she manages or he manages in a business as usual manner. Yes, both of them profit. 
they generate profit. But one, an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur from an innovatively identified business. And then the management is also innovative. You don't do what others do. Business generate profit, but from a duplicated business. And again, management is as usual. So there it is. Look at the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, if it's buying this, adding value to it, buying at three, selling at eight, profit five. Why? Because I've done something unusual, added value. The business person will buy also at three, but yet sell the same thing, business as usual manner, and get four only one dollar profit so entrepreneurship entrepreneurship culture entrepreneurship skills bring in more profit both of them are bringing in profit but entrepreneurship increases the profit because of doing something innovatively and therefore we can say all entrepreneurs are business people but not all business people are entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are a special breed of business people. Yes, you can see these two circles, the yellow and the blue. The yellow are entrepreneurs and the blue business people. So all the yellow is inside the blue. Therefore, all entrepreneurs are business people, but they are business people who are not entrepreneurs. So that's what we are talking about. And now, let us again look at the entrepreneur, the business person, and the intersection. We are saying a business person creates a company with existing characteristics, resembling the existing companies. Business person maintains small business model and the business person drives to keep efficient product working. There it is again. Drives to make the efficient product working. Buying at 50, selling at 1. But an entrepreneur creates new innovative company. Compare that. Business person creates company with existing characteristics, but an entrepreneur creates a new innovative company. An entrepreneur grows his or her company to new heights. A business person maintains a small business model. An entrepreneur tries to change products, but a business person drives to keep efficient products working. And there it is. The, those products have been changed, drive to change products, added value, another form. This product has remained the same. And therefore, both of them create companies. Entrepreneur and business person they create companies both of them try for profit but there are those differences and differences may be seen in the profitability that they get now do you want to be an entrepreneur do you want to be creative do you want to be innovative now, you have three to four days at your disposal. And can you pay for the training? Subscribe to my video and reach us. Prof. at gmail.com See you there.